Hello, my name is Amber Bovenmeyer and I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing at WebCourseWorks. Today I'm going to walk you through the e-commerce and catalog options between an association management system and a learning management system. So some of the most common options that we see are utilizing an e-commerce system, in our case that is called Box Office, which includes both a catalog and the e-commerce platform all in one. The second option would be to use your association management system, which commonly does have an e-commerce module, and then utilizing their catalog as well. So that would mean both the catalog and the checkout process are being managed by your association management system. And then lastly, uh, utilizing the learning management system catalog, sending those products to your association management system's e-commerce site or shopping cart, which then sends them back to the learning management system to actually access their course. I'll um, explain and show you some options and what those look like, and then talk about some of the benefits or downfalls of each. So one of the benefits, if you're um, looking at an e-commerce platform, whether it's outside of your AMS or and your LMS, a lot of e-commerce platforms have both the catalog and the shopping cart in one system. So a common workflow that you might see looks like the one you see on screen where you're utilizing your website. The user clicks on products and they get taken to your catalog, which is actually hosted by your e-commerce system. And from there, they can add items to their shopping cart, which you know is where they're going to be doing coupon codes, getting member, non-member pricing, and essentially checking out. And then once they check out, if this is a course or um, an online e-learning product that they're purchasing, it can direct them to your learning management system from there. Some of the benefits of utilizing an e-commerce system that's outside of your association management system might be if you have different pricing models that your AMS doesn't support, if you want to sell physical products such as a hard copy textbook, uh, sometimes the AMS systems are not able to support those type of product purchases, and also just some various pricing scenarios such as setting a discount for a specific time period. So maybe 60 days before your annual conference, you offer 30% off of the conference registration. And then as you get closer to the conference, that early registration rate decreases. So the second scenario is utilizing your association management system as your entire process from searching your website, being able to display the actual catalog of products that you offer, and going through the checkout process in the shopping cart, all the way through to when they make a purchase, and then you'll direct them to the learning management system to take that online course. In this example, it's really nice because your AMS is the system of record for everything that you offer. You have a very seamless user experience and your users can purchase both membership and courses in one place, which is a big benefit of this workflow. One of the only downfalls of this workflow, assuming your association management system supports the type of discounting and pricing models that you'd like to do, would be the fact that if you are offering courses for free, it can be challenging for your users to have to go through that $0 checkout process. And with the way that integrations are set up, usually that's what they're gonna have to do in order to get enrolled into your course if you're utilizing your AMS as your catalog and your shopping cart. So then lastly, um, this last workflow, which I'll show you an example of in our system, is where your association management system generally is hosting your website, or you might have a different CMS provider, but then you direct them to a catalog on the LMS that is displaying all of your educational products in one place and they can search through the courses that you offer, review and have different faceted search options so they can filter maybe by credit type or member pricing if that's applicable to the way that you price your products. And then they, if they wanted to purchase a course, it would send that purchase to the shopping cart in your AMS. So your AMS is still doing the e-commerce transactions. And after the purchase process, they get sent back to the LMS. One of the benefits of this workflow is that for $0 courses or free courses, you can go straight from the catalog in the LMS to the course. 
So the LMS, based on the single sign-on with your AMS, will know if that user is a member or a non-member. So it will have the concept of understanding that if members get access to free courses, they can get direct access into that course without having to go to the shopping cart. And this tends to be a really helpful workflow because you also are keeping your e-commerce in the same place that a lot of your other e-commerce products are being sold. So your accounting department, for example, won't need an additional integration with another e-commerce platform.